It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening, just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. And this signs of the last day's ministry is here watching with you and praying with you as we declare the biblical signs of what is really happening in the world today. That is the true prophetic path from now to the appearance of Christ Jesus. Helping people get ready now for when Lord Jesus appears for his church. Thank you so much for being a part of this Signs of the Last Days Church community that is praying and giving to support this ministry to be here. There's prophetic news where Gog and Magog are growing the number of their military stormtroopers by a million. And Holy Bible prophecy foretold that this would happen. Where the last day's Bible prophecy describes that the Prince of Rus, of Gog and Magog, will prepare themselves for their aggression in the last days by gathering up all their companies of troops. And then the prophecy in Ezekiel chapter 38 says that these troops will ascend, coming like a storm. As these, as these storm troops will cover the land like a cloud as their storm troopers come against the holy land of the Lord in the last days. And they are gathering their storm troopers now for the fulfillment of last day's Bible prophecy. The Prince of Rush over the Russians, also known in Bible prophecy as the Gog of Magog, residing north of the Caucasus Mountains along the Volga River. The current prince in that role, President Vladimir Putin, has now signed a decree ordering the country's military, ordering Russia's military to expand by 1.5 million troops, bringing the total Russian military personnel to nearly 2.5 million. This marks Putin's third official expansion of Russia's military since they began their aggression of war on Ukraine. And according to military analysts, this increase of troops would see Russia leapfrog the United States and India in terms of the number of active combat troops to where it would be second only to China in size in the world. This latest expansion of their military troops comes as Russia's battle with Ukraine intensifies, where after Ukraine counter-invaded Russia's Kursk region, they captured hundreds of miles of Russian territory and took hundreds of prisoners. But Russia has vowed to fight back and to retake the Russian territory taken by Ukraine, while also they say they will expand the Russian Western Front deeper into Eastern Ukraine. As the Kremlin has ordered that compuls the compulsory military service is required of all Russian men age 18 through 30 for basic military training and that avoiding conscription is punishable by up to two years in prison. Kremlin officials have said that the rationale for Putin's decree was to expand the number of troops so that Russia can set up new military structures and new military units for expanding the measures that Russia can take for their borders on both their western and eastern borders. As Russia is continuing to expand their troops to keep up with supporting their expanding aggression, which in recent years has led them to invade territories such as Crimea, Georgia, Ukraine, and others, as not only is Russia gathering up their own forces by expanding their own military by a million more stormtroopers, but they are also expanding their military forces by expanding their relationships with the militaries of their allies. For example, Russia and its troops are now stationed together <clears throat> in Belarus with that nation's military, including nuclear weapons. And Russia now receives weapons as drones and missiles from Persia, Iran, along with Iranian troops to help them use them. 
and Russia has expanded its military into the Middle East as well, where its troops and weapons have been integrated with Libya. And Russia has also expanded its troop bases and naval bases in Syria on the northern border of Israel as the prince of Rus over the Russians in the Kremlin. They are on the march, expanding their military and their military alliances for the purpose of regathering the territories of the Prince of Rush called out in the Ezekiel 38 prophecy. For Putin himself, he said in his own article that he published on the Kremlin website about the historical unity of Russians, where Putin said that to better understand the present and to look into the future, we must first turn to history. Where Putin then said that the Russians are the heirs of ancient Rus, who he said are united by the power that he said is in the role of the title Prince of Rush. And Putin said that history has decreed that Moscow has now become the center of reunification. So to continue the tradition of ancient Rus of Russia, by again, he said, collecting the historical Russian lands and consolidating those territories of the ancient prince of Rush, as Putin in his own words, actually prophetically connected. What this is happening now with Russia to the prince of Rush in the biblical scripture of the Ezekiel chapter 38, Gog of Magog prophecy, which prophesies that the prince of Rus, as the Gog over the land of Magog, will prepare for their prophetic role of aggression in the last days, as they will gather up all their own companies of troops. And they will also bring in their military alliances, like with Persia, Iran, and others, for the purpose of increasing the number of their stormtroopers, as they will be regathering the territories of the descendants of their tribes from the ancient biblical brothers as Magog, Tubal, Meshach, and Gomer of the biblical family of Japheth. And then they will end their aggression fulfill the last day's prophecy of Ezekiel in chapter 38, which describes that their troops will ascend coming like a storm as their stormtroopers will come to try and plunder the Lord's holy land and people of Israel. And right now, the current leader in the role who has reclaimed the title of the Prince of Rus in the land that was known in ancient times for Gog of Magog, is now increasing the numbers of their stormtroopers. For when they are, will gather and make the mistake to come against Israel, where the biblical prophecies in Ezekiel chapter 38 and in Ezekiel chapter 39 foretell that the prince of Rus of Gog of Magog will come in aggression to plunder Israel in the last days that will trigger events affecting the Middle East and the world, signaling that the world is nearing the end of this age and the coming of Jesus Christ. And they are preparing now to fulfill their prophetic role in the last days of prophecy as they are expanding the number of their stormtroopers by a million. So to support their continuing aggression in the world, as they prepare to fulfill their last day's Bible prophecies. These events and conditions that are happening now in the world are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age, revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church by being born again of the water and the spirit into the kingdom of God as Lord Jesus commanded that we must in John chapter 3 and verse 3 through 5, as, as Lord Jesus also commanded, his apostles were sanctioned and authorized by Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 16 verses 18 through 19 for his chosen apostles to describe how to be born again of the water and of the spirit in the acts 
of the apostles preaching in the Acts of the Apostles in chapters 2, when the Lord Jesus started his church among the Jews. And in Acts chapter 10, when the Lord Jesus started his church among the Gentiles. And in Acts chapter 19, as the Lord Jesus spread his church among the Gentile nations. And if you would like help, finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you, according to the acts of the preaching of Jesus and his chosen apostles, actually in their Holy Bible scriptures. You can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org. And down at the very bottom of the page in the footer and smaller print, you'll find there our email address. Just email us with the name of your town, your state, and also give us your zip code with your request, and we'll be glad to respond and to help you like we've helped so many others all across the United States and in other nations. The prophecy has come true. The perilous times of the last days are here, and the need is greater than ever before for a prophetic ministry like this Signs of the Last Days ministry to declare the path of the prophetic signs from now to the glorious appearance of Lord Jesus. Please be a part of this ministry by supporting this ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. And we thank you for being a part of the prophetic declaration of the great promise of the coming of Christ the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be watching for our next videos and also for our next Watch and Pray live stream broadcast as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evening <clears throat> where we have then a prophetic word to, from the Lord then to share with our last day's church of more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening now in the world. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. Please click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos as we share more prophetic signs of the end time prophecies of the Holy Bible that are happening now in the world, showing that the time of this age is growing short. Signs of the times are everywhere. There's a brand new feeling in the air. Keep your eyes upon the eastern sky.